Have you ever gone to start a DIY task only to find that the specific tool that you need for that particular job is missing from within your toolkit? Well, let me tell you, it is infuriating and aggravating to be in that position. I've been there. I've been looking for a hammer or a spanner, but because I don't have those items, I've realized that I can't complete the task that I've set my mind to. And why am I talking about this? Well, I felt prompted to ask you a question. Do you have the right tool for life? And I ask this question because the Bible teaches that humanity is broken. Broken because we have broken God's holy laws. We have all fallen short of God's holy standards for living. We've done wrong in his eyes because of our sin. And as a result of our sin, we have filled ourselves up with brokenness, darkness, shame and guilt. Feelings that were never supposed to be there in the first place. God wants us to be filled with his love, his joy, his hope and his peace. He wants us to be in close friendship with him now and forever. But because of our sin, we are now apart from God. We are now separated from him forever. We might look around and think, surely there's a way that we can find some kind of a tool that will fix this issue, that will fix this mess, that will restore us back to friendship with God. But there is nothing that we can do in our own strength, the Bible teaches, to fix ourselves. There is only one way, and God has made that way himself. That way is Jesus. Over 2,000 years ago now, God sent his one and only son, Jesus, to this earth to die for you and for me, to take upon himself the brokenness, the bad things that you and I have ever done, and destroy their power forever when he died and rose again three days later. You see, the Bible teaches that the payment for sin is death, that there is a cost to the mistakes we make, that actually we're supposed to go to eternal death and separation away from God in hell. But God is loving and just and merciful. And so he sent Jesus to pay the price for us. But what we see there in the Jesus story is that Jesus is bigger than death. He is more powerful than death and he defeated the power of death when he, when he died but rose again three days later. Now death no longer has a sting. We can be fixed up. We no longer have to be broken people because Jesus has made a way for us to come to God and say sorry for our sins, say sorry for the bad things that we've done. And when we do that, the Bible teaches that we will be fixed up, that we'll be, we will be restored, we will be given a new life with God, that we will be forgiven and will be, enter into friendship with him today. A friendship that will last, not only up until the point that we die, but last for all eternity and we'll be able to be with God in heaven for all of eternity. But it's important to remember that there is no tool on this earth that can help to restore us to friendship with God. The only way we can be restored is by coming to Jesus, saying sorry for the things that we've done, and then entering into friendship with him. But will you choose to be a friend of Jesus today?